you know that beeping, right? It is to prompt you to put on your seatbelt. And you would think that that would be enough. But the president of the Insurance Institute of Highway Safety says he's pushing for more. Our goal is to go well beyond the federal standards. We want to push that audible and visual signal to last 90 seconds. And for it to be loud enough, let's call it a more annoying warning, that would get drivers to buckle up their seat belt. The IIHS also wants a visual reminder for back seat passengers. Why the big push? Well, government data shows in 2019, almost half of the people killed in car accidents were not wearing a seatbelt. And I want to show you the crash test video, especially with the people in the back. The driver is wearing a seatbelt, but the back passenger is not. And I want you to see what happens. They go up, they hit the back seat, then they go up to the hood of the car. The close up is even more jarring. And you know that this is just dummies that you're watching, but it doesn't make a difference. And this is why they are pushing for the car industry to make changes. Most of the changes that we're talking about with uh, making these, these audible changes is software. And so it's not a hardware change. And so we think most of the automakers will be able to make this change quickly. The IIHS research shows that persistent alerts can increase seatbelt use up to 34%.